Let's move into core strength. We're down on the floor the whole time, so you might want a mat, a towel, or at least be on carpet. Face the side with me. A lot of this is going to be working on not only abdominals, but a lot of back exercises to strengthen that spine and all the muscles around the spine. So set yourself up with your wrists right under your shoulders, your knees right under your hips. Starting with cat and cow. So this is moving the spine. As we go into that cat stretch, we're rounding, trying to lift the center of our back up to the ceiling while tucking the chin down. And we move into cow by bending the spine the other way, lifting the tailbone up, lifting the crown of the head up. Now I just want you to flow. Exhale all your air out into cat stretch. Inhale into cow. Move with your own breath. Continue. Preparing those back muscles for work. All right, we're gonna thread the needle. I want you to take your right arm, reach out towards the screen, towards me. And then we're gonna thread the needle. We're gonna take that arm through, lowering your right shoulder down to the mat. Push through that left hand to come up again. We're gonna do this a few times, just nice and slow. Reach out and then thread through. Let's go two more. Reach out and down. Once more. Out. Keep those abdominals tight. All right. We're gonna do that on the other side, but first, we're gonna lift that right leg with the knee bent, bottom of your foot up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna move through cat and cow with this leg. So we're gonna tuck the knee in as we do cat stretch. And then we're gonna lift that foot up towards the ceiling as we do cow. So continue, exhale cat, inhale cow. If you don't like using that knee in and out, just set it down, do regular cat and cow. You bring that knee in, bring it towards your nose, tuck that nose in, and then lift everything out. A couple more. Then I want you to just hold that cow, head lifted, the knee out and bent, little pulses. Feel the glutes working, feel your lower back working. Keep the abdominals strong. Oh, put it down. Quick child's pose. Maybe taking the weight off the wrists for a moment to rotate them around before we do it on the other side. So same thing. Set yourself up again, hands and knees. Let's start right away threading the needle. Left arm reaches out to the side and then bring it through, resting down on your shoulder, rest your head on the mat. And we'll do it a few times, nice and slow. Reach out and through. Out, relax down. Once more. Set that hand down, and this time, left leg is bent, and it's up. We move into that cat stretch, pulling that knee towards your nose, and then lift out and cow. Just like the other side, flowing smoothly. your body it'll tell you your range always increasing range of motion when possible let's go one more tuck lift that leg out lift the, lift, head is lifted as well as we do this little pulsing movement keeping the knee bent strengthening lower back and glutes and hamstrings 
Awesome. Set it down. Sit back in a child's pose. Again, rotate your wrists around. Good. Help strengthen the wrists as well. But for now, let's give them a break. Let's set our elbows underneath our shoulders and move into that full plank if possible on your toes. If you need to lower the knees, fine. Challenge yourself to be on your toes if you can. We are gonna be tipping side to side. So bringing your hip towards the mat and then center yourself over the mat again. Other side, lower the hip. So the upper body kind of stays still as you're tilting the hips side to side. You can do, absolutely do this on your knees. Work your way up to doing it on your toes. Just look at your hands here that are clasped on the mat in front of you. Keep going if you can. You can, you can. Last one. Awesome. Drop your knees down under your hips. Let's rise up onto our hands again bird dog. So extending your right leg first and find your balance there. Nice long spine. Your leg is in line with that spine. Opposite arm. So left arm reaches forward, keeping that spinal alignment, that balance throughout your body. And look down at the mat and breathe. Good. Let's try the other side. Set yourself up again. Move the leg into position first. So left leg is straight, right arm is straight. And hold here while breathing. Imagine yourself that nice parallel line through your arm, body, and leg, parallel to the floor. Developing back strength. Set it down, we're gonna flow side to side. Now you know what we're doing, opposite arm and leg reaches. Set it down. Continue moving side to side, reaching long, pausing each time you reach long, just for a moment, and then switch. Your abdominals tucked in. All right, sit back in the child's pose just for a moment. Oh, it helps to stretch the back. That's our focus today. As we move down onto our bellies, we can stack the hands here, elbows are wide. And I want you to lengthen your legs, point your toes, lift slightly, and flutter kick. I don't want you doing this, just bending your knees because you're not doing too much. I want you to work hard, lengthen those legs, Move your whole leg, not bending the knees at all. And then rest your head. You feel your glutes working really hard. If you're doing this right, the whole leg, no bend in the knee, no cheating, keep going. Wonderful, rest those legs down, but kind of keep them squeezed together. They're still active, they're protecting the lower back as they're squeezed in together because upper body, we're going to lift while keeping the hands to the forehead, open the arms up to the side, airplane style, bring them back to the forehead and then lower down. So lift, reach out, bring them to your forehead and lower. Lift, reach, in and down. Make sure your legs are squeezed together. Helps to inhale up. Exhale down. Not necessarily breathing, holding your breath in between. If you need another breath in between, that's okay. One more. All right. Let's move into that plank position on our elbows again. So elbows are under the shoulders. Lift to your toes if possible. We're going to try this again. Hips. Side to side, nice, strong, straight body. Lower your hip off to the side. Try to touch the floor if you can or come close to it. Keep 
strong. Pivoting on our toes or our knees if they're down. Feeling your obliques working with that twisting motion. All right, we're gonna lower down once again. We're gonna do that flutter kick. So rest your head on your stacked hands, lengthen your legs, keep your toes pointed, and go ahead, kick. Small kick, small movement. I know you feel it though. All right. Legs are down, squeeze together, upper body lift, same as before. Open, in, and down. Find your own rhythm, keep going. It's important to keep your neck straight on this one. So look down at your mat. Couple more. side you're on. Elbows under the shoulder and let's lift into that side plank. So your feet are kind of staggered or stacked in some way. Maybe your your bottom knee is down on the floor to support you or maybe you're all the way up into that full plank. Now obliques for sure. Even just holding this pose for a moment you're feeling it. I want you to dip down and lift. Dip down at the hips and then lift. Not a big movement. Again, it's, it's effective. We're doing a lot here. Down on the bottom knee to support you, it's still a challenge. Three, two, one. Wonderful. Let's move back onto our elbows. We're in plank. We're not resting. We're breathing here. You can either hold this plank on your toes if possible. You can tap lightly with one toe out to the side and then the other. Be playful with this, add some movement or not. You can just hold it on your knees, that's okay. Abdominals working hard. So we wanna be equally balanced. We want our abdominals strong as well as our backs strong so they can support each other. And our obliques are to the sides of our bodies. We're working as well. Awesome. All right. Move on to the other side just so you can face me and I can face you. Well, we are doing the same thing. So elbows underneath the shoulder. Find that side plank. Bottom knee down. Option. All right. It's the hips that are moving. Dip down. Lift them up. Stay strong, do what you can. Keep going, come on. Are you about there? One more. I agree. Let's move right into plank on our elbows. You're on your toes, right? Or knees. Come on, core strength. This is how you develop it. Challenge yourself, come on. Tapping the toes out to the side if you choose. Keep breathing. Locus. We're going to lift legs up. They're straight and strong. Straight arms reaching back towards your feet. You're looking down at the front of your mat, keeping your neck straight. We're just holding this one. 
breathing. Go ahead and release down, skydivers. I want you to take your knees wide and your heels touch. Your elbows are wide and your fingertips are almost touching. We're gonna lift knees and elbows off and then lower. Inhale up, exhale down. This is a smooth movement, no jerking. Lift smooth and down. So move with your breath, inhale and exhale. Your legs might not actually be leaving the floor, but you it feels like you are, because you're, you're trying, you're going through that movement. Feeling the, the glutes and lower back tighten as you try to lift them up. <laughs> okay, it's that contraction that we want. So even if it doesn't look like much, you feel that contraction and you're strengthening those muscles. One more. Good. This time, swimmer. Lengthen the legs and now arms up, a hat, up above your head. We lift both. And small movement. Look down at your mat. Try to breathe. Okay, skydiver, one more time. We're almost through this section. Heels together, fingertips close, elbows and knees wide. As we lift the elbows and knees and lower. Again, don't look at me, follow your breath. Inhale up and exhale down. Smooth. Something that, one of those that looks easy until you try it. It's not. And that focus on the back side. Two more, come on. And after working the back, we want to stretch it. So let's move into child's pose. Push through your hands. Set those hips back towards your heels, nice and gentle. Relax the head, forehead to the mat. You can wrap your arms or continue stretching forward to stretch your shoulders. I'm going to leave you right there. Excellent job. <laughs>